Welcome to the Miami Heat Zone Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. We're pushing to 5,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button, and thank you for all the support. So Stephen A. Smith was on the OG podcast with Udonis Hazem, and they were talking about Tyler Hero. Stephen A. Smith said, I like Tyler Hero. He can ball. So why are we talking about somebody else coming to the Miami Heat? We wouldn't be talking more what Jimmy need to do or the Miami Heat needed if Tyler brought his A game every night. This is not a brother that can't play. So this is my thing with Tyler Hero. 24 years old, he's averaging 20.8 points, 5.3 rebounds, 4.5 assists, shooting 44.1% from the field. Tyler Hero kind of shoots himself in the foot. Why? Because remember, he was the one that compared himself to Luka Trey and Ja. And you have legit Miami Heat fans that think he could be like that. Could he be like that in the future? I guess. But think about it. He's already 24 years old. Yes, he's young and he still has a lot of time to grow his game. However, as the years go on, you're not going to just drastically change from Tyler Hero to a Devin Booker. And if Tyler Hero has to come to grips with that, do I think that he's a Devin Booker? Absolutely not. Is he a good young player? Yes. Also, too, with the roster construction. I know a lot of people say that he's a terrible defender. The Miami Heat did a terrible job in putting defenders around him in terms of they should have gotten a defensive point guard to put next to him, and they got Kyle Lowry. You can't do that. And then now they have Terry Rozier. So, yes, Tyler Hero is a good scorer, and Terry's a good scorer, but they're both not the best defenders. So then now their defensive liabilities are going to even be glaring even more. So, once again, I just think that Tyler Hero is a good player. He just can't bring you that efficient And people have to understand because he can get 20 and 30 points, but you have to be efficient in your scoring and then also hold your defender to a reasonable, you know, points and percentage on the other end as well. So just in terms of the overall thing with Tyler Hero and then especially with, you know, Duncan Robinson, we all know that Duncan Robinson is the better fit. Does that mean that Tyler Hero is is not better than Duncan? We all know that Tyler Hero is a better complete player. But the fit, and I think that's what people don't realize, everything comes down to fit and matchups in the NBA. If you fit better with Jimmy and Bam, you should be playing. It's not. Think about it. Ginobili came off the bench, and a whole bunch of other people were willing to come off the bench. Jamal Crawford, you don't think that he couldn't start like in the NBA, but he came off the bench because of fit. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that the Miami Heat should trade Tyler Hero? Should they keep him? I think that Udonis Hazem is right. We need Tyler Hero to bring his A game every single night. Because I think that the potential is there, but we haven't seen it. And as the years go by, we can't hope and wish and pray every single year. Oh, it's going to come next year. It's going to come this year. Plus the injuries, he's never really been available. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 5,000 subscribers.